Hi, Sue Mercer from photographyandphotoshop.com and digitalphotographydarkroom.com. Um, just a quick little tutorial here to show you um, a little bit about Nick filters. They are a plugin you can buy for Photoshop. Um, this is something that my husband Ed loves. Um, he recently went up to Rockport and did some awesome pictures there. This is the motif number one which is very famous with a lot of photographers and actually if you saw the movie Proposal which is now out they filmed in Rockport and you'll see this image right here right in, in the uh, movie they pretended they were in Alaska so in, it was kinda crazy they added mountains in behind it's really kinda cool but anyway now what I want to show you about um, Nick filters is as a plugin if you go up to filter up here and you come down it says Nick software color EFX Pro 3.0 complete and it opens up you have all these different options on your left hand side but right now it's open to tonal contrast and this is what it looks like you can either say okay or you can choose to brush it in and what it will do is it will close this section down here you, you use your little brush and swipe on your photograph and get the look that you want so that way you can control a little bit more about how much goes on your photograph and whether you want to have it on the whole photograph or just part of it okay so I'm going to cancel this because this is my original picture and I'm going to show you what tonal contrast looks like with a quick little click that's really awesome it just brightens up all the colors and sharpens everything up again we'll go back to the original and then there's also another one called pro contrast so I'm going to click and show you that one and the difference between that one and tonal contrast just watch for the next click it's just a little more vivid, a little more intense colors. So hopefully you'll uh, take some insight from this. And if you choose that you'd like to do it, you can pick up the Nick software. And it just gives you a little more to play with with your pictures. And a quick little click and you can make all kinds of different looking images. All right. So hopefully we'll see you on the next one.